Hey everybody, it's Andrew again, and uh, welcome back to KSP. Um, we've just unlocked a ton of science from a Duna mission, and we're gonna spend some of that, and then I would like to plan a uh, mission to Duna, or sorry, not Duna, to Drez. Um, a round trip mission to Drez, if I can. And, uh, yeah, uh, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, go through here and do some science, and then, uh, do some, uh, building and planning off camera, and, uh, come back and, uh, see how it goes from there. So, the first thing we really want is the, uh, nuclear engines. It's going to make things much easier in the long run, in terms of going out and coming back from any planet and uh, we also want to attempt a landing on uh, Drez if we can to do that we're gonna it's gonna require that we uh, have a descent vehicle that can uh, rendezvous with a interstellar drive use that uses the nuclear engine so we're also gonna get the docking ports and uh, yeah I think the other things that we want to unlock right now are for sure the rest of our seismic our uh, seismic accelerometer so we have that science there let's see how much is that I might as well get that one as well so that should uh, help us get more bang for our buck in terms of science so I say we just go ahead here and uh, probe yeah that's also going to be handy so that mmm not sure if we need that yet let's see that a mm, little bit conflicted. This one might be useful. Either of these might be useful. Um, so let's go ahead and take that. What else we got? Ooh. Oh, we don't have enough. That'll be awesome when we get those. I think we should just keep backfilling here a little bit. Alright. Let's see how much do we have left. 100? Uh, what is this? Oh, some other landing legs that could be useful. Alright, so that's all the science. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some building, planning, thinking, pondering, um, and then I'll be back and hopefully we'll have some kind of uh, mission plan laid out. Alright guys, we're ready to try out our Drez uh, lander and interplanetary drive. Um, I have no idea if this design is really going to work, but um, we're going to try with it. Um, I've added some more scientific components and also the docking and RCS components we're going to need to do a rendezvous um, after we land on Drez uh, to get back to the interplanetary stage. So um, this is basically just a test because we don't really know um, exactly how this is going to go. Let's even, hey, what, what the heck, why not even... Uh, We'll get some tiny little bits here, because we can. Sweet. Okay. I don't know why we're doing that, because it's fun. Science is cool. Alright, let's uh, launch this baby. Let's, uh, first of all, let's fast forward to date time. Okay, great. Perfect. Alright, and launch. Ooh, 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 that did not go well at all. Decoupler was tangent, was damaged by... Okay, alright, well, let's, uh... Oh, right, once again, oh jeez. Ooh, Jeb is in trouble. Why didn't that one deploy? Well, I think we managed to save Jeb's life there. Well, that was a spectacular failure. Hmm. Man. Awesome. 
All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, do some redesigning, and I will, uh, come back to you guys in a little bit. And we got, yeah, no signs, I guess. Hmm. Sad. Recover of a vessel that survived the flight. Hey guys, how's it going? I've got a Duna launch here in, uh, sorry, I keep saying Duna when I mean Drez. We've got a Drez, uh, launch in progress here. Uh, it's been going pretty well up to this point. It's just the basic asparagus stage with, uh, another two, uh, tanks added on, uh, tanks with engines added on to each, uh, stage there. So, uh, we've definitely, uh, separated the first stage, first and second stages if you include the solid boosters, uh, and it looks like we're making pretty good progress here. Um, yeah, we can probably, oh, time to drop those two. Sweet. Ooh, looks like we broke something. What, what do we break? Nothing. Okay. That's even better than something. So, uh, yeah, I'm planning to send this guy to Dres. It's pretty similar to the, uh, doing a science mission in terms of the configuration here. The only big differences are the, uh, um, that this is, we're going to separate the landing stage and then, uh, and then rendezvous back with this interplanetary stage we made using the uh, nuclear engines there. So uh, it's a little bit more complex than the last mission and uh, hopefully uh, as long as uh, I can dock back up with the uh, interplanetary drive correctly I think we'll be okay. Um, definitely have plenty of RCS fuel and stuff like that to work with so I'm not too worried about that. Um, as long as we are pretty careful. So we are almost to where we want to be in terms of our orbit, which is fantastic. Let's just, uh, I'd like to get up to 100 if I can. And I think I can. Come on. Just a little bit further there. 8, 9, perfect. Okay. Now, let's see here. Oh yeah, those are still full. We got plenty. Man, we are good to go here. We are really set. Um, we have way more fuel than we could ever possibly need. Um, so that is really awesome. Now, I think I can probably run some of these experiments here. Oh, nope, not that one. Let's just transmit it because we know we're going to get more. Can I log my temperature? It's... we get nothing for... Well, no, obviously we can't do that one. That wouldn't make sense. Alright, so let's just time accelerate here, and... Yeah, it looks pretty good, so... Oop. Let's go ahead and... Um... Other thing I want to do is we can't extend those solar panels yet, but we can extend. Oop. And we're really uh, going all over the place here. Um, let's just extend the panels out, so just in case we need to. Man, I don't know why we are. Uh, let's time accelerate here a little bit more and get into a nice orbit here, hopefully. Oh, we can probably let those two tanks go. Uh, who knows how long those guys have been there for. And uh, that's the camera telling us we're in orbit. Excellent. And uh, it's pretty sluggish to move here, which is interesting. Okay. 100, 103, that's pretty darn close. Okay, well, I am going to go ahead and try to set up a Duna encounter and stuff, so uh, I'm going to cut here, and then we will pick it back up when we're ready to go to Duna. Or, d I keep saying Duna, I keep meaning Dres, though. It's only because I've never been to Dres before. It would really be better 
for us to go to Eve because there's more more biomes, more planets to collect science from, but um, because I've never been to Drez, um, I want to go there first. I think that'll be fun. So I'm going to do some math and figure stuff out, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, guys, as you can see, after some amount of work, I've been able to set up a Drez encounter at about 2 million meters or so up, which is probably going to be close enough. Um, and it looks like it was it was pretty tricky because Dres is pretty small. So uh, yeah, it took a little bit of time, and we're gonna actually do two maneuvers here. Um, that one's just to change our inclination. This one's just to get out there. So we'll uh, go ahead and try that, and um, hopefully we can make it out to Dres in one piece with tons of fuel left. Because I think we're gonna have way more than enough. So stick around. So as you can see, as guys can see, um, we're still burning with these exterior tanks, and we also activated the interior nuclear engines. So, um, oop, and we want to stay there, please. And uh, so, I'm starting my burn a little bit early, um, just uh, because I know we're going to have less, uh, a little bit less thrust when we just have the uh, nukes going. And uh, hopefully it didn't start so early that I'm going to skip through the atmosphere. That would be kind of bad. But, uh, yeah, it's looking like we are a little bit. So I think we need to... Um, I think we need to uh, get up here a little bit. And just make sure we don't... Um, mess things up too badly. We're probably messing things up rather badly. Let's just get, you know, out of the atmosphere. And, uh, looks like we have more time until we really need to, uh, yeah. So let's wait, um, time accelerate ahead another couple minutes. Three, two, one, okay. And now we're a little bit safer. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're doing this kind of rough, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, as you guys can oversee, we overburned a little bit, but we're going to be able to adjust things just fine at our uh, descending node here, get things straightened out, and uh, I think we're good, in pretty good shape fuel-wise. This thing's completely full. I only just now jettisoned those uh, booster engines, so I'd say we're looking good. I mean, we could probably go out to Jewel or any place else we wanted to now. Um, maybe we'll shoot for an even counter on the way back before slingshotting back to Kerbin or something like that. That might be a little bit too advanced, but, uh, we can give it a shot and, I don't know, try it out. Alright guys, as you can see, we have our Dresden counter uh, looking good now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the sphere of influence. Alright, we're coming in pretty qu quickly. And, uh, let's... Uh, just stop. Just there we go. Perfect. Okay, now quickly, let's science like crazy. Okay, 175. Goo feels right home here. 70. Let's do a crew report and transmit. Let's do an EVA. And get back in and transmit that as well. Um, let's see if we can do a ch -ch 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 -ch. gravity. Uh, no, can't do that one. That's a seismometer. We can't do that. Can't do that one. This one is the one we can do. We got 140 science out of that. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's a good start. Do one of these? No. I think I have to be in the atmosphere to do one of those, so not going to really do anything for us on this trip. Um, and it looks like we have to... Oh, no. I want to go... Where is Drez? It is tiny, wherever it is. I don't even see it. There we go. It's very, very small. Let's see. So we want to go mostly west and a little south. It's 
so that's west and that right there is more than a little south let's just move that up a little bit more that looks pretty good Okay. we are going to try to get as close of an orbit around there as we can See, 15. The ship still lumbers quite heavily. It's a big one. I think we're getting a little top heavy too, as our fuel is being depleted. Mm, maybe not quite yet. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's go a little bit more south. Okay. It's 12 million. Still got a little bit of a ways to go here. Let's see, we want to be rotating in that direction when we get there as well, so that's good. Okay, now... This is going to take a little bit of time, unfortunately. kind of neat. It looks kind of low-lying. It should be pretty easy to land. It looks pretty flat, though. You never know with landing uh, how those things are going to go. Alright. Continuing to get closer here says here that the hmm, radius is 138, so I hmm, guess we have to be about out about double that uh, for a good orbit. Something like that. Um, and I'm not really good at doing mental math, so who knows? Okay, you're going too far south now. You need to be going like this. It's more or less straight west. Yeah, and hopefully, I mean, this is looking pretty good so far. Hopefully we'll get a ton of decent science out of this. Come on. It's getting in the right ballpark now. want to be fairly equatorial if we can be. That's going to make things a lot easier. Okay. It's looking pretty good. This looks pretty close to the equator right here, doesn't it? Let's get in there nice and close. Alright. Get in there. That's about as low as I would dare go. Let's just... Whoop. That looks better. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And, uh... Oop, wrong way. <laughs> we want to slow down, not speed up, please. And let's try to get pretty equatorial while we're at that one. And try to get as even as possible as well. 35, 37, 34, 36, come on, just a little bit more, really touchy, okay, 36 and 36, awesome, that would be perfect, I would be very happy with that, so let's uh, go ahead here and um,
time accelerate a little bit and try to get into a good nice clean orbit over Drez. Okay guys, we are trying to burn for an orbit around Drez now. Um, I think we can probably do some more science at this point. Nope, not yet. Not really. Let's do... let's log the gravity data. Or let's review what we're currently... Yeah, we can transmit that off because we're going to get more. In space high over Duna. Go ahead and transmit that as well. Alright, so... Yeah, it is going to take us quite a bit of time to slow ourselves down. That, that is okay. We can do another goo, probably. And let's save that one. So we should have at least one more goo, two more goos. Can we do an avionics thing? Oh, we can do a materials bay, though. Alright, let's keep that as well. Okay, well, space high over Juno. So at some point we should be able to get one that says while in orbit over Duna, I'm pretty sure. And we should be able to get more out of that. So we can just slow down here, which is taking an awful lot of Delta V. But I think we're going to be okay. Shouldn't have any problems. In fact, if we can make the interstellar drive back to Kerbin orbit in one piece, then we could potentially refuel it and take it out somewhere else again, which would be really cool. That would be pretty advanced stuff, but I think I could probably manage it. Okay, guys, we've made it into low uh, Drez orbit here. Oh, we can't do that one. Wish I put these someplace they were more easily seen. Well, in space, near Drez. So let's see, can we do those now? Can we do this? And get more. That leaves us with just one left. So maybe we don't want to do that one. Um, Alright. Let's do another crew report. All in space. So, okay. Whoa, where are you going? Uh-oh, that's not good. Trying to grab it. Come on. Okay. Oof, that was close. Let's. Did we get our EVA report? Yeah, we did. Review store data. Let's transmit that off as well. Where is our antenna? I keep meaning to look for it, but I can never seem to find it. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Transmit reusable ones. I'm not sure which ones those are going to be, but we'll find out. Okay. Done. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so the next step here is to, uh... Oh, this is the point where we definitely want to quick save. And even again. <laughs> and uh, I think what we want to do... Jeb is still in here. Okay. Brave Jebediah. Oh, we're going to go ahead and... Decouple. And, uh... Let's go ahead and just thrust away from that a little bit. Ooh, I see a problem already, though. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, that's bad. All right, hold on. I think I decoupled the wrong thing. Or else I screwed up pretty majorly. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I see that p very potential problem there. Uh, which is, uh, whoa, 
we're not going to be able to dock back with that decoupler like that, I'm afraid. Let's see, can we set that as a target? No. Oh, dude, that sucks. Oh boy, well that's going to make things an awfully lot harder, isn't it? I can't even set that as a target, huh? Oh man, well... gotta be something I can do about it. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to try to get home without the uh, interplanetary stage because I can't, I'm not gonna be able to dock with it. That decoupler didn't, it didn't work right. I guess I had only decouples on one side and I should have known that this was gonna happen but, you know, I've run into this problem in the past before but uh, it always seems to take me by surprise but I mean, we should still have enough fuel to get home. If we were able to get home from Duna with a craft the same size, then we should be able to make it home from here um, if we're really careful. So let's just, uh, we'll try to land and uh, get back up. And if that doesn't work, then, I don't know, we'll send a rescue mission like we always do. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to design a rescue vehicle. We'll just do the interplanetary drive without the lander on the top and, you know, fix the problem with the decoupler and shouldn't be an issue. So let's go ahead and just land. It should be fairly... We have all the fuel left in this thing. Okay. I want to make sure I'm landing in the light at least a little bit, so... Yeah, we should be good there. All right. Ugh, that is very annoying. I wish I could say this is the first time I've ran into that problem, but it's definitely not. So, okay, let's time accelerate a little bit here. Ugh. Man, that is really, really, really annoying. I've seen that happen before, and it is a bummer. Ugh, I should have known better than to do that, that you know, to, than to construct it that way. Ugh, sometimes you just want to kick yourself in this game. It really has a way of making you uh, be like, well, crap, I'm stupid. I should have known I was stupid, and I was stupid. Well, at least we don't have to worry about uh, wasting RCS or anything like that. So all that are, all those things are good things, I guess. Try to look on the bright side of it. But, uh, we want to land efficiently because we don't have a lot of... Uh, okay, I can't even time accelerate. So, um, we're just going to wait till. uh shouldn't take that much more to just land right here, but I don't want to waste the fuel. I want to land uh, as efficiently as possible here. So let's go ahead and... do we have... what are we looking at in terms of goo situation? Oh, we only have one left, so we're not going to use that. Uh, we only have one materials bay left, so we can't use that. We can do another crew report, and we can't do anything there. Okay, this is going to be a close one. Still can't seem to do my avionics stuff, which is annoying. All right, um, just uh, bear with me here while I go ahead and land this thing. Let's see, where is that? How far away are we? We're two minutes out, so just guys, you're gonna have to wait about two minutes. I'll start burning off all my velocity and, you know, it shouldn't take more than a minute to lose 354 uh, thingies, so I'm not getting a time estimate on my, come on. Alright, maybe just to be safe we should start burning now. Yeah, that's probably for the best that we're going to start now. 
Looks like we're entering some mountainous terrain here. I would love to be able to do this on the first try, but that very rarely happens, so don't hold your breath, guys. Yeah, don't have to worry about the RCS anymore. Ah, uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Very stupid. What can you do? At least uh, that uh, other part of the... I didn't put a guy in there, so there's nobody. not going to be anybody stranded, which is nice. How are we doing here? All right. I think we can wait a little bit, get a little bit lower. Yeah, we had so much fuel left on that other stage too, ugh. That's heartbreaking. Oh god. Oh man, this is gonna be close. Very close. <sighs> oh no. Oh, we're coming in a little hot. Coming in really hot. Oh man. Oh. Stop. Oh, we lost, we lost a goo. We lost some, all sorts of stuff there. Alright, stop. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, we lost all kinds of stuff. Let's see. We lost two Science Juniors and some landing legs, so we're not totally licked yet. Um, we still have this. We're not done yet. We're a little bit injured, but we are not done yet, by God. Okay, let's transmit. We still have a couple photovoltaic cells. Let's go ahead and EVA you. Let's store that experiment. And then... Alright, come on, little guy. You're a little stuck, aren't you? <sighs> That's annoying. Alright, let's let go. And crash to the ground. Okay, do that. We'll plant the flag. Rough. Rough landing. And other screw-ups happened. We designed our vehicle incorrectly, and then we crash-landed, but we may still be able to get home. If not, send help. And let's take a circus sample. That's worth bunch of science. And, uh, okay. Okay, as long as we still have our service sample, let's review. Yep, we want to keep that, we want to keep that. Okay, good. Done all the science. I can't believe we just lost all that materials-based stuff. Ugh. Just lost a ton of science there on that. I guess maybe it'd be worthwhile to... No, we can't transmit it anyway, so that was 60. That was 175, which is pretty appreciable, but not really what we wanted. Ugh. Well, crap. Alright, nothing left to do, but, uh...
let's go up and let's go that way oh, man look at my ship at least we still have lots of fuel but let's see how high do we really gotta get here Let's just go up first. So we get about, you know, up to like 5,000 or something like that is probably good. 5,000, 10,000, something like that, so. Maybe we'll go for, you know, like 10,000. Very disappointing. I'm not even going to bother to quick save. I could, but I'm not even going to bother because I feel like that would be dishonorable at this point. I've already screwed up once pretty royally. I wish we could recover the. Oh, you know, I bet you can grab the data from the experiments. Oh, well, it's too late for that now. Okay, so let's. Can't time accelerate at all. Ooh, that looks like we might crash, so... <sighs> man. Alright, we're gonna cut here and get back in orbit and try to get what little we can home. Okay, guys, we've got a really close encounter with Kerbin lined up here. Um, I have no idea if we have enough Delta V to make it, but uh, we're sure as heck going to try. And uh, we'll see how it goes here. Well, guys, I think after thinking about it for a while, I'm, uh, I'm going to send out a rescue mission to go get Jebediah and bring our command pod back. So uh, we're going to go ahead and go work on that a little bit. And... Um, Maybe we will explore that option in the next video. Thanks, you guys, for watching. See you next time.